What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. I'm at a storage facility out in the country. I've got the truck and the trailer. And I'm gonna show you a storage unit that I just bought. Right here, I got it about half cleared out. Man, this is gonna be a great one. Got a bike hanging up. Some other odds and ends, some collectibles here. We're gonna start pulling all this stuff out. Found a guitar right there. Native American spear. So this is gonna be some awesome stuff. Now, if you don't remember, I also bought that unit right there, but that'll be another video. So I got a bunch of this stuff cleared out. We are going to try and finish clearing this out and then I'll show you what I found. I wanna show you a couple things I noticed here. First, mouse poison, because in both units I saw that when I bought them, which uh, was something that I liked. And then over here you see this stuff is on pallets. Up front there were boards underneath it. It means they take good care of their stuff. They don't want it to get all water damaged and whatnot. Uh, they don't want mice to get in here. So that's a really good sign when they're taking good care of their stuff like that. So one thing I'm noticing here, it's a good thing I bought both units. I was told after the fact, after I'd already bought both of them, that they were both owned by the same person. And I'm very glad because I'm seeing furniture parts in here that do not complete pieces of furniture. And this furniture across the way, so they probably go together. Uh, prime example, there is a bed frame over there, like a rough sawn log bed frame. It looks like this. It's in that unit over there. This piece is in here. This is the only piece that I see in here for it, but it's probably worthless without this piece. It's probably worth at least a hundred bucks complete. So that is why they probably should have mentioned ahead of time that they're both owned by the same person, but I'm glad they didn't uh, because I wanted to buy both of them either way. And had I had they mentioned that, the other bidders over there may have bid that one higher, thinking that I'd need that one, or maybe thinking they could sell me parts and pieces of things. So definitely glad I bought both of them. All right, and this is after two trips. We got the trailer loaded up. A couple of things in the bed of the truck, not much. Bike and a couple of end tables. Uh, this, I'm leaving out here. This was actually in this unit when I bought it. I'm going to leave it out here because there's a lot of furniture over there. So we're going to leave that here for now. All this stuff, I need to get some boxes because most of this is just tossed in here. We still have some nice collectibles, including, you see back there, a Pepsi clock, which we'll show you later on. Um, I saw some collectibles in here as well. Some cars. And this one has some buildings, although those do look open. A few odds and ends. Cowboys crock pot that's still sealed. Uh, but for the most part, this is empty. We will not fill up the trailer again. What I'm going to do when I come back is start working on that one so we can have some good boxes to stack all this loose stuff on top of. So uh, maybe a third of a trailer load left in here. All right, we are back at the warehouse. I've got all the stuff that I brought in the first load in here. I also have a trailer full. I don't know if you can see out there. Now, you can't see out there because it's too bright, but I've got a trailer full of stuff out there that I just hauled here. Let's take a quick glance at it. Seriously, this is really good stuff. So we've got that. We've got some stuff here. Over here. I've got two carts over here and my Kool-Aid. Two carts full of stuff. Now, over here are the bikes. Let's see, we've got this Magna bike here, a little BMX or kid's bike. I think this is just a Walmart brand, uh, so I don't think it's worth too much. Uh, we've got a Mongoose here, also nothing too special. It is missing a wheel, uh, but there were like 10 different wheels, so we're good to go there. Uh, this bike here, now I know nothing about bikes. I don't think this is going to be worth much. Uh, it looks like an old Huffy, maybe, um, but we've got that one. We get this kid's Star Wars bike. That's kind of neat. I think it's relatively recent, probably within the last couple of years. We've got this one here, which I think is good to go. Um, nicer looking bike, also a Huffy. Now this one, I got excited. I thought this was gonna be a really expensive bike. The frame is narrow, like those lightweight ones. It's got this weird shock in the middle here. I thought this was gonna be a really expensive bike. It's not. I looked this up, Genesis V2100. It's like $250 brand new. Um, and this one does need some work. 
Uh, for example, the handlebars are loose. Might just be able to tighten that. And I think, well, maybe we got brakes. One of these bikes, the brake lines were cut. Um, maybe that's not this one. Also, one of these bikes is missing a uh, pedal. Uh, that is going to be this one right here. This one is the one missing a pedal. I think this person repaired bikes. There is one more bike in this unit. I don't remember. I don't think there are any bikes in the other units. There is one more bike that I hauled over here today. Uh, but let me know if you see anything of value here because I, I don't know bikes. I'm guessing these are going to be 10 to $20 each. Next over here, we've got, what is that? Five bike wheels. Some are front wheels, some are back wheels. So we'll have one to go with that bike missing a wheel. There are also three or four more still in the unit that I found. And there goes my heater. This, I can't tell if it's new or not. The zippers don't have that zip tie on them, uh, but it does look nicely folded in here. So this could be new. And then just a whole bunch of bedding and some jackets. Here we've got some coolers. This one has a radio built in. There's another soft cooler inside. We've got a Coleman, nice and clean inside. We've got this Powerade uh, drink cooler. That might be worth a little bit. You see the Gator ones, Gatorade ones a lot, but not the Powerade ones. And we got tapes. This box here is full of tapes, as is the one on top of it. So uh, there's a couple of A-Track tapes that I just tossed in there to even out the box so I could stack on it. But hoping to get maybe five bucks for all of them. Honestly, I'm just hoping somebody takes them so I don't need to, you know, pay to throw them in the trash. Moving on back here, we've got a shovel. And then this guy, which is for like paint rollers or maybe a broom. We've got two gas-powered string trimmers, a Ryobi and Echo. Uh, I haven't tested them. We have this table. There were a few more folding tables. A couple of plastic sawhorses. These are from the unit two snow scrapers. We've got a, a bunch of fishing rods with a couple of reels. I don't know fishing poles, but I'm going to assume there is nothing special here. Uh, we've got this little shelf. And then a gas powered, you know, let me move over here so we can get a better view. A Yardman gas powered leaf blower. Uh, probably get about 20 bucks for that and 20 piece for the string trimmers. Now under the table, this is all bedding, blankets and whatnot here. A pair of winter snow boots. I don't think these have much value, but maybe I can get a few dollars for them. This box, this, oh, that's a little heavier than I thought. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of ram sticks you know these do scrap out decently so the fact that there are a bunch of them maybe i can get a dollar or two in scrap metal there uh we've got coaxial cable and just some probably garbage we've got a tonka truck this is not an old one at all metal plastic i thought i saw a date yeah 2009 so it's about 10 years old not worth much Little footstool and a, I think this is a remote control car, maybe, uh, but with no remote. We got a little basketball hoop there. We'll go through this in a minute, figure out what's in there. Here we go. Danica Patrick autographed photo with a no-name COA. So that's probably worth about 10, 20 bucks. Here we've got popular mechanics for kids. Uh, build a, an engine, I guess. Um, there's no, well, that might be new. Hold on. That is tape shut and looks like it could be factory tape. This might be brand new. Yeah, this is brand new. So this might be worth something on eBay. It, it looks pretty old. It looks like it's probably from the 90s. So based on sold listings, it looks like I can get 20 to $30 plus shipping for it. So that's what we're gonna go for. I'll probably price it at $49.99 with free shipping. We've got this Dremel project table. It does have the original box. There's a price of 40 bucks on it, but that's also on the table itself. This may be a price take from a pawn shop, so it might be worth 40 used. It could also be the price tag from the store worth 40 new, I'm not sure. Uh, a couple of little clamps to go with it. Yeah, I don't know how to clamp. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see how it works. And these are Dremel clamps, so they probably came with it. So, um, I don't know. Somewhere between 20 and 40 bucks I'll get for it. And then we've got this little radiator heater. These things are like 100 bucks new, if I remember correctly. 
I may be wrong there, so don't quote me on that, but it should be an easy 20 bucks. There were a bunch of these. Now these look like just the cardboard that goes on the corners of a pallet, and that might be what they are, but I might be able to get a couple bucks for them because as you'll see, there's a bunch of train sets and you know high-end collectible trains, and maybe someone will buy these to, to you know, put make a border for their trains or something. Uh, so we'll pair that with all that stuff. Then we got a little wagon here, Mega Blocks. Not really many much value in toys here. Might be able to get a couple bucks on eBay for that if it's Nerf. I don't see any markings on it. Uh, but all in here, maybe five bucks. These furniture movers are nice. These are smaller ones. I'm probably gonna keep those because they'll come in handy emptying out storage units. But we got two of those. And then underneath them is the shadow box full of sports cards. Probably five, ten bucks worth of sports cards. I haven't looked through them. Maybe there's something special. I don't plan on looking through them. I'm just gonna put them in a local auction. But this has a plexiglass top, hinged case. Someone will probably pay me 20 bucks for that. There's a little latch on there so you can put a lock on it. You know, people who do garage sales and whatnot. So we've got a couple of laptop bags. We'll go through those in a minute. And uh, well, let's start going through the rest of this. So right here, we've got some Brero. I honestly don't know which unit that came out of. That might have come out of the other one, but it feels really high quality. It does not feel like a cheap one. Um, we got some branding in here. Probably get about 10 bucks for that. Right here, we've got some window tint. The box is open, but there's a decent amount left in there. So I could probably get five bucks or so out of that. We've got a couple of hot dog or marshmallow cookers for a fireplace. And what is probably just a poker stick, I'm not sure. I'll probably get a few dollars for that, not much. Now this, I already unrolled it to look at, so let's move the camera a little bit so you can see it. So this is a vinyl banner for the movie Shrek. This probably hung in front of a movie theater because it is vinyl, it's pretty high quality. It's not a cheap one. What does this say? Probably Eddie Murphy is donkey. So, this thing, it's pretty big too. So I'm basically on the ground here. It's probably about five and a half feet tall. And um, for the original Shrek movie, I might be able to get a hundred bucks for this. That might be reaching, but uh, it's at least worth $20. So this I'm excited about. All right, we've got a purse here that's full of stuff. So we're gonna set this aside and go through it in a minute when I can get you a better angle. What is this now? This is, oh, jewelry. Probably all costume. If any of this were gold, it'd be really valuable. So this is likely all going to be costume jewelry, but nonetheless, uh, I'll probably get 10 bucks or so for that. Set that aside. This is just craft paper. Um, so I might use this just for you know, packing up shipments. Now we've got more of these folding tables. There's three of them in here. There's one, two, oh, this one's a little broken. Uh, will probably still work though. So there's a second. And here is the third. So, for the set of four, I'll probably get like 10 bucks or so. Oh, uh, we've got a T-Mobile hat. Not worth anything. We've got a glove, just one glove. So we'll toss that. I'm just gonna throw it out because no one wants one glove, except maybe empty cheese. This is a bag of bags. Aren't those fun? All right, here we've got papers. It looks like a whole This might just be a, a box of trash, to be honest, because that's more papers there. This one, more newspapers. They're not vintage or anything, just regular Green Bay newspapers from 2018, so from last year. So that's all trash. Digging through here, what is this? Safety gear, I, I don't know, probably a pair of disposable gloves. Let's get you a little closer in here. Oh, we've got a phone, shattered screen, but this little, I can scrap that out. 
Those are always good for scrap or just a, a lot of you know, 20 phones or something on eBay. And we got this bag here. Looks like some magazines. Yeah, this looks like it's all going to be trash. Well, we got a couple things of lunch bags. Probably get a dollar a piece for those in the dollar sale. Probably the worst bicycle horn I have ever seen. A baseball. Those really aren't worth much unless you have a bunch of them. And then the rest of this, here's another thing of lunch bags. The rest of that is trash. This is all trash, right? Trash. All right, so this whole box is trash. Not a great start on this unit. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so this purse we just saw, it's full of stuff. So let's go through it here. Got more jewelry. I'm gonna go through this, but I don't expect to see. There might be a couple of sterling pieces, but I don't expect much. What else do we have here? Beaded bracelet. Um, uh, oh, I think this is a shoe for like a child, a moccasin. Set that aside, see if we find a mate for it. Keychain of some sort. Uh, that makes me think it's a watch, but... Oh, here we go. So it opens up and you've got a watch. And then beads of some sort. Throw the beads away. Uh, let's see, just random... A shaver, that can get thrown away. Random jewelry and whatnot. Uh, what is this? A ring, a very pointy ring. Let me dump this out on the table. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of loose beads in here. Uh, so just random. There's a little pocket knife type thing. Uh, it says Korea on it. I thought that said Avon. So a little pocket knife. I think that's a Christmas ornament. Oh, we've got another watch right here. And some junk. Looks like some coins. Plus the watch in the box. The rest of this looks like mostly junk. Here's a, ooh, this might be sterling. 925, so this is a sterling ring. So I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna look through all that jewelry because you never know if there's some sterling in it. Here we've got some US and some foreign coins. So I'm gonna clean up this mess, we'll move on to the next. I do see a poker chip here, uh, just a keychain. Next, we've got this boombox CD tape player. If it works, there's a CD in it, so it probably works, but it's beat up. Probably get five bucks for it. Next box. This box, hold on, off camera. I'm going to get this adult magazine off because, well, this is a family-friendly channel. All right, this looks like it's all Native American things. We've got just a random cheap candle. We'll toss that in the dollar sale box. But here we've got a little drum. Uh, some trinkets here, another little drum. Uh, looks like this is where he got all the sports cards. There were, there's a bunch of sports cards, which you'll see soon. Uh, we've got, oh, US dollar coin. So there's a dollar, I'll put that in my pocket. Um, let's see, with some business cards and stuff. We've got a pair of glasses. Not old or anything, throw those away. We've got another drum. It is cracked on the bottom, but it looks nice on the top. We've got a touch light. There's no rhyme or reason to this box. So we've got a couple of, that's a porcelain doll. Here's another porcelain doll, a couple of native dolls. Uh, we've got a watch, doesn't look like anything special. We'll put it in the box full of jewelry. Uh, maybe get a buck or two for it. What do we have under here? We've got a Native American ceramic figure. Set that aside. Uh, this looks like just a shirt. It was probably used to wrap up the, the ceramic. Uh, this looks like just a keychain of some sort. Throw it out. We've got, I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of microphone or something. It looks like garbage. I'm gonna throw that out. And then a stand for the doll. Here is, I don't know, hearing aid pieces maybe? The hearing aid itself isn't in there. 
And then there's some pieces of glass you can see right here. I'm just gonna leave those in there. Not quite sure what they're for, uh, but all in all, this box is probably a good 20 bucks or so. So we'll carefully put this in here and move it out of the way. All right, now this box, we got a hot seat. Uh, I'll probably get a dollar or two for it. Uh, old doorknob, I'm gonna say not worth anything. What is this? Uh, looks like the box for this thing and the seal with the item itself is missing. We've got a vintage Looney Tunes cup from 1990. You can see the date there. Probably get a dollar or two for that. A couple of rolls of tape. Uh, roller blades. These things never seem to sell. I'm not even going to bother trying. I'm just going to throw them in the donate pile. All right, here we've got some boots, some shoes. Oops, I hit the camera. It's a bunch of boots and shoes. Um, not worth a lot. That's garbage. All right, so that's this box. All right, so here we've got this water bottle with no lid. We're going to throw it out unless the lid's in there. Oh, a hundred, wait, oh, a $1 bill, but it says 100. It's George Washington, but it says a $100 bill. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to throw that out. I like to throw away money. Some sports cards. We've got a whole bunch of sheets of cards here. Um, those probably aren't going to go for much, but we'll mix them with some other stuff. And this just looks like paperwork. That's all trash. We've got a vase. Nothing special there. Uh, some cotton balls. That's trash. Let's see if I can back up a little bit for you. Oh, uh, we've got some Ziploc bags, mostly empty, and of course, nothing of that. You know, I'm not gonna use storage unit bags. And the rest of this looks like just kitchen stuff. We've got some vinegar, call Raken, he'll drink this, and corn syrup. Both of these we're just gonna throw in the trash. And we've got an empty milk bottle. Throw that out. Uh, brand new toothbrush though. I bet I can get a buck for that. Oh, what is this? Just mail. And then we've got a mixer. You can't even see this. A mixer and the bottom half of a blender. So nothing too exciting there. And honestly, without the top half of the blender, that is worthless. Also did not find the top for this, so we're gonna throw it away. This box is not exciting at all. It's all kitchen stuff. Although there are the beaters for the mixer. Uh, beyond that, it's all kitchen stuff. It's all going to the dollar sale. All right, this box, let's look in here. This looks like it's all cleaning products. Um, I mean, we could use some of this around here, but other than that, not really any value. Here we've got a cheap clock, an ice pack. Oh, I don't know what this is. Is this a shower head? Hold on, this is a weird shower head. It connects here like a shower head. I think this is a shower head. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Interesting. All right, we've got paperwork. This is kind of cool. I've seen a couple of these so far from an auction. And in this case, he bought, I'm trying to keep his information off of here, uh, some locks and keys and football cars. Didn't spend much. Uh, but that's kind of neat from a local auction. We've got a few DVDs here. Uh, those are in there. That's in there. And I'm not going to open this one. Uh, but a couple of DVDs. You get a buck each for them. We've got... It's interesting. Some Asian... I guess a board game of some sort. No writing on the box. So I don't know. That might be worth a few bucks. Here we've got an empty CD case, but it is a nicer one. Uh, I can maybe get a dollar or two for that. And shampoo, garbage. That is a very unique shampoo bottle though. All right, we've got a couple of backpacks here. They feel empty, uh, nothing special. Toss those in with the bulk clothing. Uh, we've got sports card binder, but it's empty. So we'll just throw that in with some of the sports cards. All right. 
here. Oh, this box has some weight to it. Let's get this on the table. All right, this box is sports cards. Looks like he had them individually. A dollar, a dollar. So he had these, and these are all different quantities too. So individually based on, you know, what they are, I guess. Uh, looks like he was selling these for a dollar each. There's probably 30 of them in here, so it's probably a $30 box. I don't expect to get that. What I will likely do is just put this whole box as it sits, send it like that to a local auction. It'll probably go for five or 10 bucks. This doesn't feel like there's much in here, but some decorative things with yarn stuck to it. We've got a gift. Uh, let's see, to Tony. This might still be sealed up for when they wrapped it. That tape is on there pretty good. And in it, maybe not. It looks like a bunch of junk. Uh, looks like kids crafts. Garbage. I do feel bad throwing that stuff away, but it's so tough to get in touch with the yarn. Even when you do, they don't want it. We have some yarn, garbage. So the only thing good in there were these two, which we'll sell in the dollar sale. And lastly, we've got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set. It is open. It's a price tag of a quarter, but you never know. It might sell for a couple bucks. Next is this rigid case. You remember this was by the door. I was pretty excited about it. It's got a handle. It's a pretty heavy duty case. Uh, I will let you know, I already looked in it, but I'm not gonna say what was in it. Let's get it open here. Those are some big hinges here. All right, let's open her up. Nothing too spectacular. We've got uh, some sort of chain kit. There's probably for bike chains. There you go, bike hand it says on there. A chain. It's a little tool kit there. We've got some drill bits. We've got an extension cord. And we've got a skill belt sander. Um, oh, he bought this at a pawn shop. Uh, let's see. He spent $15 on it. You can see right here. 15 bucks he spent on this belt sander. So obviously the belt sander is not worth much. 10, 15 bucks. And we probably have another 10 or 15 bucks here. Oh, and the case, of course. I might get 20 bucks for that. It's a pretty nice case. Next, pardon the noise, my heater is running up there. So we got this oil drum full of stuff and this garbage can full of stuff, and it does not look like trash. So I am going to get the camera right over here. We're gonna go through this and see what's in it. The garbage can itself is probably worth five or 10 bucks take the lid off. At first glance, it looks like junk, but I dug through a little, and it looks like it's probably decent stuff. So here, wrapped up in newspaper, we've got a very large candle. This thing's like a foot and a half tall. Um, not sure it really has any value, but it's there. Uh, we've got a canvas bag. Oh, uh, this is interesting. What is in here? Leanne Rhymes. 2004 calendar so uh, probably no value here when did he buy this does it say on here I'm looking for a, a date that it was shipped it does not look like there's one on here so I'm trying to see if it has any collectible value I'm gonna set aside and look it up for eBay because you never know all right we've got family pictures I will set these aside I don't expect to find this person but you never know uh, we've got, uh, I'm assuming this is a candle holder. Uh, probably not really worth anything. We've got a coat, Northcrest. Feels like a nice coat, but not really worth much. Uh, we'll just toss that in the dollar sale. Some knee pads, dollar sale. Not sure what that is. Uh, some sort of bag. All right, we've got books. Uh, this is a textbook, so I am going to look this up. Uh, it is a dollar and eighty-five cents. So, junk. What else do we have? Something wrapped up nicely here. Native American art. Uh, looks like there's going to be a lot of these. He's a turtle. A turtle with a sailor's hat. That's so funny. I like that. Um, this feels like a picture. Family picture. Set that aside. Uh, Native American 
photo. This looks like a photo of a photo. So I'm just gonna, it's not worth anything. All right, this is another family picture here. Here we've got a calendar. So that's, that's junk. All right, we've got a whole stack of, we've got a harmonica book. We've got a Native American book. I'm gonna look that one up in a second. A couple of notepads. Uh, understanding anger, that's all a photocopy, so that's gonna be trash. These, let's cover up his address, um, are mailed to him. Uh, corporate report, so just junk mail it looks like. Books and looks like mostly junk. All right, so this is a Native American book here. Uh, looks like it has some history, some photos. Let's look up the value of that book. Very bad rank and 448. So that one uh, we're not going to sell. Next, we've got uh, magazine. American Booty. Is this like an adult magazine? It does not look like it. No, this is maybe financial or something. I don't know where the where the cover is. I suppose it doesn't really matter. So that's junk. Uh, family pictures. We've got problem solving workbooks. So another college textbook with some stuff in it. We'll look that one up in a second. A notebook and another college textbook. So let's look both of these up. So far we're 0 for 2 on the books, but you never know. Uh, I'm not even gonna look at the price. That one's a 9 million rank, which is really bad. So this one is probably going to be just as bad. A 4 million rank. Let's show you uh, used. I lose a dollar and 97 cents in fees. So this, now I see what this is. Fan blades. So junk. They're a little dated. If they were nicer looking, maybe I could sell them. All right, we've got a candle and looks like a chimney for. Uh, here we've got more Native American trinkets. Let me clean up my table here. All right, next we've got wrapped up. We've got a plate. Just says USA stamped on the back. Uh, I don't anticipate that, have, that to have much value. More family photos here. Um, let's see. Something about left-handed people. Toss that in the dollar sale. We've got some folders with paperwork and stuff. Get rid of that. We've got, this feels like it might be, no, it's not broken. I felt that in the middle. A uh, dream catcher, ceramic display. So we'll put that the Native American stuff. Ah, oh, this is there's nothing in there. This, some wolves, although it's not explicitly Native American, it kind of fits the decor pattern, so we'll set that with those. And this one, another Native American figure. So there's a lot of Native American stuff in this unit. This is a really small one. Uh, let's see, another wolf. Probably goes with that set. No, 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 it doesn't quite go with it, but it'll work with it. And there's nothing in there. And this was what wrap, that plate was wrapped in, just a bed sheet. Here we got more plates, it feels like. That doesn't even match the other ones. Not even the same size as the other one. And that's just a mismatch plates. Uh, we'll get rid of those. More family photos. Let me move you a little closer here. All right, we got some stuff wrapped up. Oh, A and W mug. That'll sell. And then that had stuff wrapped in it. Uh, some hats. Chevy Racing. Uh, God bless America. Leather cap. A local casino. And this. Oh, that is falling apart. And we're also caught on something. So this is garbage. What is in it? Just paperwork and stuff. That's all trash. Oh, 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 don't wanna break it. All right, so we've got a little kid's clip-on tie. We've got something crocheted and another A&W mug. 
I could really go for a rip your float right now. An old cribbage board. That might have a little bit of value. Uh, I'm looking for a year on it. There is not a year. There is a maker. Low, I think, L O W E, that says. All right, we got a pack of tennis balls. Let's see if they are new. They are. We got a sealed pack of tennis balls. Granted, this is like five bucks in the store. We've got, oh, first thing you see of Pepsi. It's all taped up and wrapped up. I'm not even going to bother, but this is a vintage Pepsi glass. There's a lot of Pepsi collectibles in this unit. All right, this is a tin. There's something in it. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Native American wolves knife in it's brand new and it's in the tin probably get five ten bucks for that at least uh house of miniatures so so some miniature models someone might pay for those uh we've got i'm assuming that's an american flag uh, what in the world is this this thing is heavy let me see if i can figure it out so i have absolutely no idea what these are my best guess is wind chimes but they're heavy there's some serious weight to them let me set those aside maybe the rest of it's in the box here more family photos uh, what is this a brochure for something so i keep looking at this and it naturally feels like a garbage can i keep wanting to put trash in it uh we've got a large shell here Probably get a couple bucks for that. Remember when people would collect those? Like in the 80s? Alright, so we've got a set of earrings. Uh, just bows. Uh, some junky old software. Look at this. Walmart internet service. You can't even see it. Walmart internet service. Alright, that's garbage. Alright, we've got a couple sets of earrings. Um, $4.99, so no special value, and that's just garbage. We've got some more hats. Uh, let's see, SEAL Team, that might have to be worth a couple bucks. We've got a beret, that might be Navy, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we've got a beret, Dallas Cowboys hat, and Green Bay Packers hat. Interesting, like the same hat, two different teams. Um, this candle holder, I guess dig down a little further we've got oh this looks like a handmade quilt that'll sell uh, handmade quilts sell decently i already see some interesting stuff not this but we've got a couple of candlesticks we've got a little candle holder here next in here we've got a polaroid camera it's missing the little rubber thing, so probably not going to put it on eBay. Um, it's just a one-step flash. This is about a $15 or $20 camera, but with that missing, people aren't really going to want it. So, we'll send that to a local auction. This is heavy and smooth. Oh, this is cool. Uh, an egg paperweight thing. Uh, Blown glass, you can see it was cut flush there. That might be worth a few bucks. Uh, another one of these weird rods. Still unsure of what those go to. This is pretty cool. Carved wood cannon bookends. There's a second one right there. Uh, I bet I could get like 20 or 30 bucks for it. There is no maker on it. Uh, they are neat. Let's pull the second one. Net Zero Access for All and some other crappy software. Although this is wood. Uh, it was Windows. Uh, so here's the other bookend. You can see the details, the metal, carved wood, wheel. This is kind of neat. I don't know what they're worth, but I think I'll do all right on them. We've got a water bottle. I'll set in the dollar sale. Uh, tension uh, rope, I guess, for working out. I'll probably get two or three dollars for that. We've got, oh, I bet this is another one of those blown glass eggs. It sure feels like it. Yep. So now we've got a set of two of them. They're heavy too. All right, this is a bottle of something. Garbage. 
There's something in this backpack. Oh, oh. Interesting. This feels like it's not a real gun. No. Definitely not a real gun. It is, it's all plastic. That's the second I picked it up, I knew it wasn't a real gun because it is all plastic. Um, airsoft gun of some sort. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Uh, let's see. I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I don't know. Let me get off camera for a second if I can figure it out. Okay, so I kind of figured it out. You unscrew this and this thing pops off to expose the CO2 cartridge. Uh, let's put this back on here. Um, and then it does, well, kind of work. The BBs just kind of fall out of it though. They don't shoot. This thing I feel like should go back, but it doesn't. So it's either seized up or something. You can see the BBs in here. Um, I, don't, I don't really play with airsoft guns. They are metal BBs. This is a Powerline, let me get the model. Powerline 15 XT. We're just gonna send this to a local auction. Um, also, my one of my staff members, he's good with these things, so he'll be able to figure it out. That was in here, it was dark. I thought, looking in here, that, well, you can't really even see it on camera. I thought that was a real gun when I was pulling it out of here. Um, but either way, airsoft gun should be an easy $20 sale. We've got some incense, either incense or sparklers, can't quite tell. Oh, this is heavy, here we go. The metal BBs for it in, in a milk carton. Why they put those in milk cartons, I don't know. A little rod for something, probably junk. Uh, let's see what else we have. Looks like an antenna here for an old TV and more of these little skewers. These are probably skewers for like a fondue set or something. Uh, high density disc, Apple. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Apple high density discs. Uh, may have some value. I highly doubt it has value, but it might. Uh, we'll get another CO2 cartridge for the, the gun. Oh, what is this? Oh, a whole box of CO2 cartridges for the gun. About half full. I don't know if they're used or not. So we'll just sell all that together in one lot. This is, looks like just some keychains. Let's open her up. If I can figure out how to use a Ziploc bag. Oh, it's Dory! And then beyond that, just some keychains. This one has a coin on it, but it doesn't look like... Yeah, it's a fake buffalo nickel. It's about the size of a, like our current dollar coins. All right, we've got more floppy disks. This is just a regular pack. Um, not new by any means. Let's see, what is this? Poster for a workout gym. Junk. Even if we had the gym, I'd probably throw it away because it is in rough shape. Oh, this must be a loader to make it a little easier to load the gun. Oh, uh, what? It, I, I, I don't know. Garbage. What else do we have in here? Anything special? A pure romance name tag. Oh boy. Just think about what we're going to find in here. Um, Lodging Congress, 1987. Some random metal, probably shelf brackets. And a baseball that is still actually sealed. So that is this one. Now, let's move on to this one. I'm gonna get my hand truck out of here though. So we've got an oil drum full of stuff. First is this box of cat litter. It's probably about half full. Now, normally I would throw this away, but uh, one of my employees, he has cats, so I'm gonna give it to him. All right, now we've got this candle holder. I looked at it before, it's got some weight to it. I didn't see any markings. There is this one here. I didn't see any markings that say silver, I should say. It says made in USA, quadruple, patented, and it has a patent number. Quadruple probably tells me it's quadruple silver plate. Um, so you know, it's just plate, but it is still a fancy candle holder. I'll uh, probably get 20 bucks or so for it. We've got this little shoe organizer. I'm just gonna throw that away. 
What is this? Interesting. It says Budweiser, your fishing rod. So maybe we'll find the other half of it. Uh, a little Budweiser collectible. We've got, let's start with this. Remote control Hummer. No controller, but that could be anywhere in there. Uh, if we find the controller, we'll get a little bit for it. All right, here we've got more cleaning products and something is in fact leaking in here. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw this away and it smells like bleach. Um, it probably froze and then the bottle leaked. We've got a plush bear. There's a whole bunch of plush we're gonna sell in one lot in the auction. Uh, what do we have here? Some M&M dudes. So these, I mean, they don't go for a ton of money. Uh, but I'll be able to probably get three to five dollars for this in a local auction. We've got, this is just a little address organizer. We've got a toaster that's kind of gross. I'm just going to throw that away. And what in the world is this? Play money, I guess. I, I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, this looks like junk. Garbage. We've got a vacuum belt. You know, these can I can get a couple bucks for on eBay. Uh, we've got a vintage WCW keychain. Maybe we can put that in a lot of stuff. We got a noisemaker. Garbage. What is this? Uh, key ring. Garbage. We got another noisemaker. This one doesn't work that well. We've got. Oh, this could be really good. Ah, oh, I saw that and thought maybe it was all silver coins. Shell's coin game. I'm not quite. State of the Union, Michigan. Shell's coin game. I'm not quite sure it's tokens for something, but uh, we will put them in the auction. Maybe someone will know what they go to. Man, did I get excited there. That would have been a, like a couple hundred bucks if that was all like silver coins. This is a nasty cup. We're throwing it away. Here we've got uh, some keychains. Doesn't look like anything too special, but. We can maybe make a lot of keychains. We got a belt buckle. What is this? A water skier. 3D belt buckle. Uh, 1979 is the date on the back. We'll probably get a couple bucks for that. Uh, we've got a padlock. This is a really crappy one, but I don't know. We'll throw it in the dollar sale or something. This is interesting. A bullet and three pennies on a keychain. Oh, all right then. Uh, Ed's room. We've got, um, looks like some toy keys, and then another lock with a key. Oh, they're not even attached. Another lock with a key, so two pad locks. Uh, some toy keys. Um, Cole National, so I don't know if that's like a bank sold this as a promotional thing. Yeah, I'd probably put it in the dollar sale. We've got another lock, so now we've got a lot of three locks in the auction. We've got another belt buckle here. This is, if I can read it, um, Henry Ford, Detroit. So Ford belt buckle from, it does not have a year. Lewis Buckles, Chicago. Probably get 10 to $20 for that. Another keychain. Uh, some Firestone putty knives. I'm just going to throw those away. We've got, um, looks like some sort of keychains or something. I'm not quite sure. Maybe these go on a belt or something. I don't know. All right, we've got some patches here. Select Series and Williams Pipeline Company. We'll hold on to those for now. This is like a, a filter for something, a light, but it's old. This is like brass. That may have some value. Uh, that is garbage. This is some sort of candle hole. You know what? It matches this. Or does it? It's close at the very least, but this isn't missing any, so I'm just going to set it aside. Who knows? All right, we've got some sort of token here or coin. It says June 25th, 1880. I don't know what this is. Some biblical token. It says 1880. Whether or not that's a, a remake, I'm not sure. A uh, couple of Disney toys. We've got a pin for a real, probably a Realtors Association. Another noisemaker. This one seems kind of vintage. You know what? Maybe I'll take these out of the trash and sell these as a lot of three vintage noisemakers. 
in the auction. All right, we've got another lock. This one does not have a key. I'm going to set it aside, though, in case we do find the key. There's another one of these things. We'll set that right there. We've got a gross pillow. That will definitely go in the trash. Um, softball, vote Curtis, 88, probably, Joe. Uh, we've got a little glasses repair kit. Valley Steel Products. Uh, put that in the dollar sale. Uh, a key. This is not the right key for that lock. And then another one of these Mickey or Disney figures. Uh, we've got two more of these. Interesting. All right. We've got a pair of old gloves. Kind of a gross stuffed animal. A gross pillow. Uh, a frog lure. This is a vintage lure. It might have some value. I'm going to look that up. Uh, belt buckle. I'm just gonna throw this away. It's not gold gold plated or anything uh, This is I'm not quite sure looks like Shelf pins to hold shelves up. I'm not sure I'm gonna set aside though just in case we get another token here This one is Union Pacific 1934, but it feels like it's aluminum. It's definitely a reproduction a uh, sample of the aluminum in the Union Pacific train. So maybe not. Sample of the aluminum in the Union Pacific train. Probably something that they sold back then. Another one of these guys. Okay, so I think I figured out what these things are. Let me grab this candle holder again. Boy, is this thing heavy now. All of these, I'm just kind of setting into there and then this in the middle. So I think they go to this. What's weird is the candle holder itself was not originally in this bin. I just put it in here so it doesn't get crushed by other stuff in the box it was in. All right, here we've got some foreign coins or tokens. A uh, bed sheet. A gross pillow. Uh, let's see, a coin of some sort right here. It says... 1975, some sort of Spanish coin. All right, we've got a blanket. All of these are really gross um, from being in this rusty barrel. Whoops. So I'm just going to throw them all away. Oh, this is like a handmade Afghan. That might be sellable. And then just some more pillows. So that is the contents of this guy. Next, we've got some cigar boxes here. They feel like they're empty. So four empty cigar boxes. Probably get five bucks or so for those. We've got a rocket launch pad. Uh, original price of 25 bucks. So we'll probably get 10 for that. Oh, uh, what is in this bag? Beads. I think, oh no, this, whoa. Okay, let me get you a better angle. So this is some sort of beaded hanging thing. I don't know what that's worth, but we're going to sell it. Now this party light candle box has a price tag of $149 from a local pawn shop. I already looked at what it was. It is train stuff. Um, this pawn shop is usually pretty spot on in their pricing. So we've got 47 piece over and under pier set. Original price of 13, but that could have been decades ago. Uh, let's see what it looks like inside. So it looks like it's probably all there. Uh, so this is probably worth a few dollars. We've got, this is factory sealed, retaining walls. Uh, what is this? Uh, it looks like it's this thing, like a bridge. Possibly, probably partially used. Code 83, so some sort of circuitry. Uh, we've got a power pack for a train. We've got some track here and another power pack or controller. And then a whole bunch of cars. We've got an engine here. Uh, let's see if there's a make on it. It just says Santa Fe. It is very ornate. Lifeline, I think. It says Lifeline on there. Uh, so we've got an engine here uh, that looks like the only engine and then a bunch of these cars This one and there's your coal that goes over onto it. We've got some tanker cars 
Uh, are they all the same brand? I'm trying to see on here. Uh, the brand is in that little crack there. Yeah, Lifeline or Lifelike it might be. This one's dirty, like it's made to look dirty, I think. And also Lifelike. It's not Lifeline, it's Lifelike. So we've got a whole set here. Uh, we've got some paint brushes. Uh, some hobbyist is going to get really excited on this stuff. There is a receipt here for Engine House Services. Um, it, it doesn't say something 50 foot flat, $20. So this might be something different. Um, and then we've got 40 foot, 50 foot flat cars. So it looks like they bought one car for $20 here. Whether that was new or used, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so based on the fact the pawn shop had a $150 price, this particular pawn shop is usually pretty accurate on their prices. So I'm gonna say this is worth about 150 bucks. This box is relatively heavy. Let's see what's in it. Uh, looks like kitchen stuff. Curtains, we've got, look at this. For the basic witch in your life, uh, let's see. Looks like it's all dishes, mugs, and whatnot. Oh, we got another a &W mug. I'm gonna put that with the others. But the rest of it looks like just plates and dishes, and oh, there's some other stuff in here. So let me get these dishes out, and we'll look at what's under it. So it doesn't look like too much. By the way, I found a second a &W mug while I was pulling out the dishes. Now I have four of them. All right, let's see. Coupon for $300 towards the purchase of a vehicle. Yeah, probably garbage. Uh, this is nice. This is a wind chime. Native American theme. Looks like a feather or something is missing there. Uh, but either way, I think it will still sell. We got mail and junk. All oh, this looks to be junk. Entrepreneur magazine. Junk. And the rest of this appears to just be bedding. Oh, there's something in here. This is like a little sport satchel. A uh, set of Adidas headphones, earbuds. I might be able to get a buck or two. Oh, what this is. Oh, no, it just goes through the thing so you can have your iPod in this. So I'm going to sell these as a set. Adidas headphones with a little sport case. And then the rest of this looks to be bedding. Next box, we got a half a roll of bubble wrap. That will always come in handy. Get some sort of plastic... NASCAR car and then we've got looks like a train set not a valuable one just an old wooden kids set and some other assorted toys uh, so this maybe I can get five bucks for all of this all right now we've got looks like some socket sets and some mysterious white boxes so we've got this craftsman socket set probably worth five bucks or so this is whoa not a socket set Look at this, a box full of belt buckles. Interesting, we've got a Nazi belt buckle. Uh, sometimes that stuff holds value, although part of the crossbones is broken off. Harley Davidson, there's a good 30 bucks. Is there a date on it? 1980, solid brass, Harley Davidson belt buckle. We've got some Native American belt buckles. I'm assuming that's Native American in some way. Um, Indian head penny belt buckle. Oh, uh, is this Eddie? So maybe someone named Eddie will buy this. Um, let's see if there's anything else. We got an airplane from, doesn't have a date. Uh, horse carriage. Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm kidding, it's just like a Jaguar tiger of some sort. In fact, it's from 1980 before they were even a sports team. But look how close it is to their logo before they were even a sports team. Oh, we got a buffalo. Uh, we looked at these. We've got uh, Hawaii with some sailboats. We've got United States Marine Corps. There is quite the variety in here. We've got a dragon. We've got uh, MGM Studios, or just a generic lion. However you want to sell it. Old car. This would go nice pairing with that Ford belt buckle. Uh, this one is a Morgan silver dollar coin. Uh, we've got an eagle, bald eagle. Uh, 
Wikiwachi Floridas. Don't know what that is. Uh, we've got a pot leaf. Lee, the jeans company. Uh, bulldozer. And another skull and crossbones. Death or glory. So I didn't I wasn't really counting how many there are. There are probably 20 belt buckles in here. This one has exceptional value. This is probably the most valuable one. In fact, I'm gonna look it up right now. One sold, but $23.50 plus shipping. So, I mean, this one's $23.50. The others aren't gonna hold any exceptional value, uh, but I could probably, I should be able to get like five bucks each in an auction. So this is probably about a hundred bucks right here, all combined. And then below it, well, I said I thought the last one was a socket set and it wasn't, so I'm gonna hold my judgment. And a socket set with an interesting wrench. All right, then we've got, some of these mysterious white boxes that have styrofoam in them. Probably some sort of collectible. Oh, a Corona truck. I wonder if there's an age where I can get an idea of how old this is. There's nothing stamped on the bottom here. Uh, here's some more identifying information on that one. This one is Miller Genuine Draft. This one does have a marking on the bottom right here. It says 1996 Miller Brewing. So they're probably, I mean, they all look kind of the same. Oh, this one, the back door opens. They all kind of look the same. So they're probably all from 1996. So we've got Corona, we've got Miller, and lastly, we've got, uh, let's see if it wants to come out. Here we go. Oh, this one has a certificate of authenticity. Um, and this one is the Moose on the Loose. Uh, it says Moosehead Beer. Never heard of it. Uh, no markings on the bottom. Uh, presumably they're all probably about the same age though. And I don't think this can be put back on. So they probably have never really been removed from this packaging. So I honestly have no clue what these are worth. Maybe I can get 10 bucks a piece for them. That's 30 bucks. In fact, the certificate of authenticity has a 1997 date. So they're probably all late 90s. Next box, this looks like all home improvement stuff. And a water bottle. The water bottle in the dollar sale. All purpose electrical wire, probably not even in code anymore. Silicone. This is looking like, well, maybe not. No words, just screws. So they must be just reusing that jewelry box to hold screws. So this looks like all home improvement type stuff. A whole bunch of hardware. I'm gonna dig through this and I'll let you know if I find anything special. So here's the contents of the box. A couple of noteworthy things. Uh, this little money clip, I think. I think it's a money clip, I'm not sure. A little clip of some sort. I'm gonna put that in with the jewelry. I found a pack of BBs. It's probably worth about five bucks or so. And this, I'm just gonna throw it away, but it's a back cover for a Wii remote. Uh, Off-brand one, I'm just tossing it. But that means there could be a Wii in this unit somewhere. Another box here, we've got a drain snake. Um, I'm just gonna put that aside here. Uh, that's part of the box for it. We got some vinyl gloves. These always come in handy. I'm probably gonna hold on to these. All right, little white box here. Last time it was models. I have to look at this way. This time it's casters and looks like bed frame stuff. All right, here we've got a little glass eagle figure. And here we've got another Native American figure. We've got some mail. Uh, let's see, CD-ROM drive, junk. Another CD-ROM drive, junk. Looks like that might be a full stack of it. Uh, these are also, they scrap pretty well because that's gold. So I'm gonna put this in with um, all of those RAM sticks I found. We've got some shower curtain hooks. I got a buck for those in the dollar sale. A fan for a computer, garbage. A cord of some sort, Graco, so I can't do much with it. I'll throw it in the scrap bin. A cord for something else, throw it in the scrap bin. A couple of Hot Wheels cars, rough shape. I'm just gonna throw them with random toys and whatnot. All of these pens can get thrown away and this cable stuff you get another one of these with the metal or with the gold pins you know those scrap out pretty well so they're always worth hanging on to 
Uh, we've got a stress figure. Put that in the dollar sale. A couple of golf balls. We're just gonna, oh, from the Oneida One Stop, local gas station chain. Let's see, this exercise thing. We'll put that with that tension cable. All right, oh, this is nice. We've got, coiled in here. We've got a bike lock and it has the keys. So that, it looks like a pretty nice one, pretty heavy duty. We've got a base for a landline phone. We'll see if the rest of it's in there. If not, we're just gonna throw it out. Uh, look at this, more of these cards and looks like there might be a RAM stick in there. So we'll be able to scrap that out pretty well. Some cables, junk, more cables. That's junk. We got an old webcam. It is USB though. Put that in the dollar sale. Uh, fan, but there is a heat sink attached to it. Um, I'm not gonna bother taking that off. It's not worth the time for the 50 cents I'll make off of it, but I will give it to someone who does scrap. More cables. There's this USB adapter, plug it in the wall. Those always come in handy. A uh, battery for a laptop. Uh, this unit had a whole bunch of old laptops too, so the battery I'm gonna hold on to. That is junk. Let's see, we've got, what in the world is this? Probably junk, probably like a hard drive enclosure or something. I don't know, I'm not gonna mess around with it because it is locked. So, junk. And we've got, I'll let you get a better view in here. We did find the phone, so that's the base. Now the rest of this, two chains. The rest of this looks like junk. Pens and computer stuff. Copper wire, that might come in handy. Little speaker. So we're gonna scrap what we can and throw away the rest. Additionally, I found a soldering iron, not really worth anything, but uh, maybe we'll find some other stuff to pair it with. Next, I've got all these collectible die cast cars. Look at those prices, 28 bucks, $29. I don't know if they're worth that, but I figure I can get at least 20, uh, $10 each for them. Although I might wanna keep that Kodak one for my camera collection. We've got a smaller one and a couple that are out of the boxes. I figure I can average about 10 bucks each for these. So that's 60, 70, 80, 90. That's 100 bucks right there. All right, this is a tin wash basin. We've got, this feels like it's an empty box. Maybe there's a charger or something I can use. Yes, we've got a charger. And then this guy. So these will come in handy. Uh, box is empty, so we'll throw that away. We've got a PSP game. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Maybe that means there's a PSP in there. We've got two of these. Let me get you up a little bit so I can show them. These guys with tags. One of them sold for 30 bucks. The other one doesn't have the tags. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can get 30 bucks for the pair. All right. We've got this little cup here with a little note, which is junk. We got another charger here, uh, another two chargers. What else is in here? Looks like the rest of this is trash. Hair ties, makeup, that is trash. Well, actually, if I can get this out, uh, let's get some gooey stuff on, I'm gonna throw that away. All right, this little cup, we've got, what is this? Glitter. Glitter, contact lenses, and some sort of pills. They look like vitamins, trash. Oh, let's see, we got some sealed hockey cards. These look older, 1990. So four, five packs of those so far. We've got a remote for a DVD player. We're gonna set this aside in case we find a DVD player. We've got jewelry, oh, oh. All right, we've got a dollar coin. That's worth about a buck to me. But we also have a silver piece dollar. It's worth about 15 or $20. All right, what is this? Some sort of beads, junk. Whole bunch of jewelry. Oh, there's another dollar coin. Another Susan B. Anthony, that's worth a dollar. And then some rings here. Let's see, I don't have my loop on me. And I'm trying to get this quick so it doesn't bore you. It looks like it could be silver. I don't, in a, in a quick glance, I don't see any markings. This one is marked sterling. So what is that, an eagle? 
So it's Mark Sterling right inside there. This one is, uh, I can't tell if that's a marking or not. So we've got, these look like military pins. We've got a chain. Uh, these two are not marked and they're kind of pitted inside so I don't think they're silver. However, this one is Mark Sterling. Mark Sterling, it sounds like a name. The marking on it says Sterling, so that's worth a few dollars. Uh, we'll send this to a local auction and maybe we can get 10 bucks out of it. We get some mouse poison or ant poison. We're just gonna throw that away because we don't know how old it is. HDMI cable, these always sell. They do well in auctions if you have a bunch of them. Got a little umbrella. One of these push button ones, it's all sealed up, but. What is this? Some sort of foam blocks. Throw those away. A basketball hoop, just a little mini one. We're gonna toss that because those never seem to sell. All right, we got some yard tools and some grilling tools. Uh, more yard tools, so we could probably sell these together in a lot. A wire brush, another wire brush, a rake of some sort. We've got a little clip-on lamp. That'll sell for probably three, four bucks. Another one of these tap lights, that'll go in the dollar sale. We've got a cheap flashlight, we've got a vase, also full dollar sale items. Well, some safety glasses. We'll put that in a mix of tools. Another phone block. This is a controller, probably for one of those remote control cars. All right, what do we have here? Nice little hose nozzle. We'll put that with some tools. And in this bag, looks like junk. We've got a screwdriver. Oh, oh, here we go. So this is in the other unit, and it looks like some spare parts for it. So this is definitely going to hold on to. Also, really good because since I bought both units, I have those. Uh, this is a newer baseball cap for wrestler, and it's not worth anything. It's in really rough shape. Uh, this might go to the gym. What do we have in this bag here? Clothes pins. Not really worth anything. A fancy controller for a car. Looks like it needs a whole bunch of batteries. Uh, but we've got a whole bunch of remote control cars now, so a lot of these could be for that. We got some rusted out wire, junk. What's in here? Junk, junk. Some Teflon tape, it looks like. Junk, junk. Uh, tea light candles, junk. More Teflon tape. Uh, and then it looks like some screwdrivers and drill bits. We're gonna put that with the assorted tools. What else do we have here? Some junk, junk. Here's a Mexican coin. I'll put that with all the foreign coins that I'm finding. And the rest of this looks like junk. Got a light bulb. We got, what is this, fishing line. That'll sell. We've got a whole bunch of fishing stuff I've seen in this unit. A single steak knife, junk. Oh, I can go for a steak right now. A uh, portable TV with some gunk on it. We're just gonna throw that in the dollar sale and make someone will clean that up. Uh, we've got a railroad spike. Maybe I can mix that with some other stuff. Alone, it's not really worth anything. Someone's mail. All right, this is some lady cards disguised with Packer cards. Uh, a whole bunch of Packer cards here. Look at this loser, Ted Thompson. And if you follow the Packers, you know why we don't like him. All right, we've got part of a hose. And then all of these cords, probably just gonna get scrapped. Although this may go to one of the RC cars. It's got a unique end. If I can actually get it to cooperate, a unique end. So I'm gonna set that aside. Another pack of hockey cards. Oh, here we go. We got a pocket knife. Uh, old timer, it says. Let's see if there's any manufacturer. The tip looks like it broke off. Uh, it is, it says Schrade or Schrode, uh, made in USA. So this could have some value. I mean, I don't expect 
excessive value. I cannot seem to get that open. And then this one doesn't say anything. Uh, so we've got a pocket knife made in USA, vintage. That'll probably sell decently. Uh, male hose, a mender. So that can probably get a dollar sale. A brand new set of Black & Decker drill bits. I can't imagine this is worth much, but it'll sell. Let's see, what else do we have here? This may go to the home gym. Anything that looks like it might go to the home gym, I'm not really on to. Little car here. Uh, possibly remote control. And another controller for an RC car. Uh, it doesn't look like there's, there's a couple of hand tools in here. Beyond that, it doesn't look like much else. So I'm going to sort this. I'll let you know if I happen to find anything else noteworthy. This might be the battery cover for that controller. Here, let me grab it here. Nope, doesn't fit. All right. All right, so nothing else in there, although I did find this. It's a little credit card knife. It fits in your wallet like a credit card, but it flips out and you've got a knife. It was brand new in the package, but I had to take it out to play with it. It's not really going to change the value much. So we've got this bag here. Let's see what's in. Let's start with the bigger one. Here we've got, looks like just file folders. Definitely want to look through this type of stuff because you never know. I've already found one autographed picture hiding. There's nothing in there. We've got an Avon welcome kit, it looks like. Some beads and stuff. I don't think there's going to be really anything of value in here, but I'm going to glance in here. Uh, this is just like a vinyl disposable tablecloth and beads. Nothing special there. They did sell Avon. Maybe we'll find some new Avon stuff. And we've got, oh boy. Pure romance, all paperwork. Um, I don't know what I will do. Pure romance, for those of you who don't know, uh, they, it's kind of like Avon or Herbalife, one of those, uh, I, I like to call them pyramid schemes, but one of those uh, direct marketing things that will get moms, single moms to uh, sell stuff. Pure romance is adult uh, toys. We'll just leave it at that. So if I do find some, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them, how I'll sell them. Oh, we got some business cards and let's see, there's something else in here. Uh, do not return to store. So this is probably for the bag. We'll just leave that in there. In this pocket, we've got, that's empty. That's empty. And in here, in here, we've got this stuff. So a little calculator. And that fell right out of the garbage and some junk. So this is empty, but it is a nice rolling laptop bag. It has in this pocket, the handle that tracks out. Probably get a good five, 10 bucks for that. Next, we've got another box here. Right here. Now, first thing you see, California raisins. This bag full of California raisins will probably be worth about five bucks in a local auction. We've got quick set, a doorknob, a locking doorknob. Are the keys in it? Without the keys, it's not really worth anything. Uh, let's see if they're hiding underneath here. All right, we did find the keys. All right, we did find the keys. It works. So we've got a good doorknob here. Um, I mean, this is like 10 bucks new, so I don't know what we're going to do with it. Maybe we'll find a use for it. Maybe if we have a couple of them, we can sell them. Another thing of tennis balls, you can feel it's squishy, so it's definitely not sealed. Yeah, it is open. But, um, you know, maybe get a dollar for the set and a dollar sale. Not quite sure what that is. Here we've got a clock, a patriotic eagle over the American flag. Can't tell if the, it looks like it's chipped down here, but that's not that big of a deal. Uh, we probably get five or ten dollars for it. We've got, oh, here we go, A&W, uh, what, what do they call these? I can't remember what the technical term for these is, but it's a big jug for A&W. Uh, we got some Packers glasses here. Looks like a set with some junk in it. There's another one. Oh, these are Packers Super Bowl glasses. Uh, we got a Super Bowl in this one, throw that away. So we've got a set of, looks like a decent sized set. That's five, and this will make six. So we got a set of six Packers Super Bowl glasses. 
What else do we have in here? Some sort of bracket for something. Some giant crayons. Oh, what is this other stuff? This looks like junk, so we're gonna throw that out. Set of six Packer glasses, it's probably worth about 10 bucks. This looks like an off-brand iPod in there. Uh, if I can get it open. Yes, this is an off-brand iPod shuffle, worth about a dollar. This, nice little wooden business card stand that can go in the down hill, but someone will pay a buck for that. Uh, what is this? Headphones. A set of headphones that were given out to buy Northeastern Wisconsin Technical College, a local school. Here we've got a lamp, but it's kind of funky there. Uh, I'll throw in the dollar sale, maybe someone will give me a buck for it. Another one of these things. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, it's marked 2009 Thomas. Oh, this might be for that wooden train set. So I'm gonna grab the one that I threw out. Uh, handmade leather thing, two of them. Not really worth anything. Uh, what is in here? And it looks like nothing, just junk. Uh, so we, maybe someone will buy these in the dollar sale. Put them in there. Uh, this I'm going to set aside with the other to put with those to toy trains, not the collectible ones, and that is it for this box. Alright, a couple more boxes here. We've got a box full of sidewalk chalk. There's another box of sidewalk chalk in it. I'm trying to decide if that's new. Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll put this in the dollar sale. Uh, that out of the way. We've got, it looks like some mail. Looking through it off camera. Trash, we've got a magazine, car and driver. Trash, we've got ammunition, but it feels pretty light. So not a lot of bullets, um, but maybe we can get a couple bucks for it in the auction. Uh, so we will set this aside. Hopefully we find more. Uh, these are always interesting, little boxes. A couple of lights. See how bright that is? Uh, these will do all right in the auction. In here, we've got power pack. Let's see what that is. Uh, it looks like something related to the trains. So we will set that aside. There's more in this bag. We got little cars, miniature cars, and little people. So these are probably things that go on display with the trains. Look at that, $7 was the price for that. Uh, what else we got? We got a couple more kind of tangled up in the bag. A couple more of these little cars. These are likely going to be on display alongside of the trains. So we're going to put that all with the train stuff. Another bag here. This bag. Ooh, these will do well. Bud Light Tap pulls. Uh, they're not old by any means. They're something you'd see in a bar today, but I'd probably get 10 bucks for the pair. And this is just spackle. It's pretty dense, you can tell that's what's in it. Uh, so we'll set that aside. There is also a little chain right here, which is not gold, garbage. And all of this was in a vintage Pepsi crate. Peninsula Beverage Company, I'm assuming that's Mich Upper Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, uh, which isn't far away. There's a bunch of $5 tags on it. This is guaranteed worth more than that. Uh, it's even got some stuff on the inside. I would guess this is probably about 10 to $20, especially given that it's relatively local. Well, there's also a set of earrings in there. So we'll set this aside for the auction. I'm just kind of glancing at these earrings here. They are not marked in any way, so they're not sterling. Toss out the jewelry. Now we've got this. This is a Craftsman circular saw. It looks brand new. The blade is definitely new. Uh, but even the, the saw itself doesn't have any sawdust residue on it. The cord still has the twist tie on it. Uh, that's got to be worth at least 20 bucks, I would imagine. All right, this box here. What is this? Some sort of circuit board? Uh, let's see. I'll just stab myself. Uh, electronic dice project. So some sort of circuit board here with some resistors and whatnot. I have no clue what that's worth. We're going to send it to auction. 
All right, this bag. Oh, a couple of Pepsi glasses. What in the... Huh? That'd be funnier if you could actually see what it says. Hold on. Let me undo this bubble wrap so I can get it out. Oh, it's uh-huh. That's right, Diet Pepsi, uh-huh. You got the right one, baby. And then a regular, you can see the Pepsi logo. And that is it for this one. We've got an Oneida Nation flag. And what's in here? These are caps for something. I thought it was pills at first. Uh, it's little caps. I'm honestly not sure what those are for. And then here is more uh, caps of some sort. Little caps for something. I'm thinking these probably aren't worth anything. There's more stuff underneath here. You see a bunch of cards here. So let's, I'm gonna carefully take these out so I don't spill them everywhere. All right, we've got all of the cap or the cards out. This is a Goodwill bag. This is an old Goodwill bag. Winnie the Pooh figure. Uh, it does say Disney on the bottom, but it doesn't. Oh, this is a salt, salt or pepper shaker. So I would imagine this is probably no. This is smaller. Oh, the honey. Oh my God, your salt and pepper shakers. Winnie the Pooh and his honey. Those are probably someone will probably pay a few bucks for that. All right, this is junk. This is uh, goes inside of a computer to run the fan off of like a, a heat sink or something. Bunch of little computer screws. Uh, it looks like this is all going to be computer related stuff. A uh, little scrub brush. A uh, tray for probably a disk drive. You get some cords and I think this is part of that brush. There you go, extension handle. Here we've got a whole bunch of RAM sticks. These look fancy. I don't know if that means anything, if these have some sort of value or not. Uh, I'm looking at them. 10, 24 megabits, megabytes. So this is one gig. Each of these are one gig RAM sticks. These may have some value. Uh, I don't know computers, but I know one gigabyte of RAM. You put three or four of those in, you've got a relatively modern computer. Here's some more of those random caps. Uh, this is going to be an attachment for that scrub brush. Uh, this probably was attached to a computer. We've got a fan. Junk. I'm just throwing all this stuff in the trash. This is, I don't know, it's a film canister with something in it. I cannot see through it and I can't seem to get this cap off. There we go. Uh, little metal pieces. Garbage. A four-year-old's birthday candles. All right, here is if you're selling, celebrating the birthday of your anti-lock brakes, ABS. We'll throw those away. And then the rest of this just looks like computer parts. You know, this, we'll just scrap it out. Um, let's see. Yeah, the rest of this is just cables and stuff. So that's it for this box. So this was in with all the cards. I wasn't really going through them, but I found it. And I looked this up. It's small. It's one of those old cigarette cards. I don't know if it's real or not, <clears throat> but if it is real, I couldn't find this exact card, but this guy's cards are going for like 40 to 100 bucks, so I might send this to an auction separately. So here's what I did. This, these are all wrapped up in some sort of plastic sleeve. This one, somebody won something, uh, so I'm going to look that up to see if it has some value. It is from 1993, so it's not terribly old. Uh, these three are all from the 60s so maybe they have some value i'm going to look those up and then this stack here if i can get them out all of these had price tags of either two that one was two dollars all the other ones were one dollar so if we added this up there'd be two three four five six seven eight it'd be nine dollars worth of cards you know maybe i can put them in the auction and get five bucks or so so this is something that excited me when i saw it it's a cedar chest for the Oneida Nation, the Oneida Nation of Wisconsin. Uh, this is like burned into it. That's not painted on, it's not a sticker, it's like burned in. And then we've got their insignia here. So I, I have no idea what this chest is worth. It, it could be a couple hundred in this area, uh, but I would guess at least 20 bucks. And it looks like it's filled with Native American things and a couple feathers. 
All right, so we've got these two feathers. So this is kind of cool. So this doesn't look like much, but for this to be made, this would have had to have been carved. This probably would have been one log like this. It would have been carved like this. You don't carve these individually and put them together. That's kind of neat. All right, we've got a bag here. Interesting, it's all like cedar um, branches, I guess. Uh, we're just gonna throw that out. Uh, we've got, I can already tell what this is. This is gonna be a large flag. It's gonna be the same thing as this one for the Oneida Nation. Uh, so we've got a large flag here. We've got leaves of some sort. Uh, this is probably some sort of uh, ritualistic herbal thing they were saving. Some plastic bags. Um, toss these. All right, next we've got a straw rope. This is probably handmade. And caught in here a dream catcher. This, I don't think this is a real skull. It feels more like plaster. The horns might be real, but the skull really feels like plaster. Yeah, you can kind of, you can really see it in the teeth. This is just a plaster skull, uh, but still decorative. Someone would buy it. Here we've got some sort of carvings. I think this is probably a necklace that came off. You get these beads and these. I'm thinking this was probably a necklace that uh, the string broke, so they saved the pieces to fix it. We've got more feathers in here. Um, I'm a little afraid to touch this. I don't know what that is. Uh, we're just going to throw that out. And then underneath it, we've got, this is actual mink oil, whatever that is. I'll toss that. In here, we've got something wrapped up. It looks like it's probably a dish of stuff. Oh, this is neat. This is a shell. Really cool shell. Uh, we've got another shell in here, so we will uh, probably sell those together. Uh, what is this? Regular top. I think this is just a top. Uh, lift here. What in the world? Oh, tobacco. Um, so we'll just toss that. Uh, this, a little afraid of what could, uh, it's something hard. It's like a ceramic thing wrapped up nicely. This is an interesting box here. Oh, not ceramic, stained glass. That's kind of neat. There's a couple of them in here. And there's a third one still wrapped. Right there. Oh, there's a fourth one. So we got four stained glass um, artistic displays here. Uh, staples, put those, make sure it actually is staples. Yep, not a reduced box for some small trinkets or something. All right, more empty bags. Yet another, ooh, another shell. This one needs a little bit of a polishing, but it's kind of cool. So we'll set that aside. A flag of some sort. I don't want to unro unroll the whole thing. Uh, looks like a Native American flag uh, depicting some sort of scene. All right, we've got a glossy picture. We've got, I think this is a folder. Uh, a card of some sort. And some sort of sheet where they're keeping track of likely uh, work they performed. Uh, another feather, this one's beaded. And we've got a beaded keychain. Uh, dream catcher. These are kind of neat, carved wood feathers. And this I don't think is part of it. We've got more tobacco. All right. Uh, oh, the stained glass feather. That's kind of neat. Uh, Three Eagles is the brand. Stained glass eagle feather. Donned with horsehair feathers and glass beads. Handcrafted by Natalie. Uh, more 
herbs or leaves or something. Well, this kind of explains what it is. Incense sage. Uh, Oneida Market is a local gas station. We've got a bunch of blank CDs, printer software, Windows XP. Um, some junk. Another shell. What is in here? It looks to be just a card. A birthday card. Uh, we've got a belt buckle. Uh, Coors. It makes me feel a little better that this wasn't like a spiritual box with a whole bunch of stuff that I'm throwing out. They have a Coors belt buckle and a Windows XP CD in here. Makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, more incense. Uh, this looks like a piece of leather. Some animal hide, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. This is... Oh, assembly guide for a bed that I have in another in the other storage unit. So we'll hold on to that. We've got a bike lock, but it does not have the key. So unless we find the key in this box, I'll be throwing that away. We've got another belt buckle. Bow hunting from, they usually have dates on them. 1983, it says on the back there. This feels like maybe another belt buckle. Uh, handyman, life member, Handyman Club of America. I don't think that's going to have a lot of value. Um, just some blocks of wood here. Not quite, maybe they were making something. Who knows? Uh, what is this? Drill bits? Nails. Interesting looking nails. Uh, this... I'm not quite sure what that looks like. It broke off of something. And a train whistle. I tried to sell those. They really don't sell. Uh, so we'll put it in the dollar sale. Another feather. Um, just a blank notepad. Uh, decorative picture frame. These look like stock photos. It looks like something from a soap opera. Uh, but it says love. Uh, that's definitely vintage. Here's another one with the same stock photos in it. Love. A uh, little dream catcher. A native bracelet. Here's another bracelet and another bracelet. Another straw braiding. This looks like it was probably cut off of a piece of furniture. We have, oh, gross. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, so it's not as gross as I thought it was. It's a lighter. I'm gonna demonstrate because people aren't gonna believe me. Um, so it is uh, adult themed. So if you have children watching, you might wanna turn them away. Uh, it is a phallic lighter. Additionally, I found another lighter. The middle finger, I'll show that while you have your kids looking the other way. All right, it curses at you as well. So anyways, uh, now it's okay to bring your children back into the room. Let's finish digging through this. All right, we've got more of these trim pieces for presumably a piece of furniture or something. Some matchbooks. Um, I don't think these really have any value. Local casino, uh, casino. They're all like local-ish casinos. Here's some seeds of some sort. Uh, we can get this off. A Packers card. This is a single card, isn't worth anything. We got a broken chain, a nail. This is interesting. This feels like it would be a very uncomfortable bracelet. Well, I suppose it's a keychain. Um, from a casino in Marquette, Michigan, which is in the UP, Upper Michigan. More matchbooks, uh, some rolls of tape. Uh, these will come in handy, I'm sure, for someone. And that looks like that is it for this box. That is a human tooth. So, uh, yeah, this is now the grossest thing I found in the unit. So in case anyone's wondering, this is not someone's uh, religious, spiritual box of things where it's really disrespectful to throw certain things away out of it. There was a male organ area lighter, uh, a middle finger lighter that curses at you, sports cards, a Coors belt buckle. Um, what else did we find in there? Basically, it was just a whole bunch of stuff. It had no spiritual value, or at least as a whole, it didn't. So I wasn't desecrating a Native American spiritual box, so hopefully I won't be haunted. So moving on. All right, here we've got a vintage Pepsi clock. There are no markings on the back, no date. There is a brand. 
Impact International Inc. Uh, but I would guess this is probably late 70s, early 80s. Uh, that's kind of cool. We've also got this sweatshirt. Normally I don't sell clothing, but this is Native Veteran. This is probably going to sell in the auction pretty well. It's in nice shape. We've got a couple of canvas wall decorators. Um, made in China. Uh, nothing too special. Probably get five bucks for the set. We've got a vintage picture frame here. Probably worth a couple bucks. We've got a lap desk with a leather base. Someone will probably pay for that. And this is a lid for something. I'm going to hold on to it in case it goes to something. Here we've got a little electronics tool kit. We'll set that aside with the tools. And we've got a box of stuff. It's labeled Christmas. I already looked at it, so I know it's not Christmas. We've got some Pepsi fridge magnets. Uh, look, They look at least vintage inspired. Actually, this one has a date, 1998. Uh, so, still relatively vintage. And this is cool. This is a Pepsi Cola pitcher. Uh, there's no date or anything on it, uh, but it's a pitcher and a set of glasses that match it. That looks like all that's probably in here. So the pitcher and a handful of glasses is probably four or six of them. There's definitely more than four. There's probably six glasses. I have no idea what this is worth. We're gonna set it to auction and see what it'll go for. The magnets will probably sell for a combined 10 bucks. We've got a set of wheels for either a hand truck or a small trailer, but this flat, this is a local auction company. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Uh, that tells me that more stuff from different auctions. Another Pepsi crate. This one, you can't really see it on that side. It's from Beloit, Wisconsin, which is kind of near Milwaukee-ish. So it's still pretty local. It's got all of the inserts to separate it. And you can see it says Pepsi inside as well. All right, we've got a Mountain Dew large insulated mug. This is like a gallon. It doesn't have a date on it, but MTN Dew is a recent change, probably in the last 10 years. It used to spell out mountain. Probably worth a couple bucks. We've got these bear arrows. Probably, it's got the tips. Probably not worth a ton, but there is also a bow in the unit, which I'll show you later. Um, so we'll put those together. Here, we've got a box. We've got a charger for a phone, some clothesline, brand new. A notepad from a local hospital, that's trash. And then this is a display case for a die-cast car. What else do we have in here? This looks like a bag of just some paperwork. Uh, no, hold on, there's more in there. Let's see, we've got some sealed packs of cards. More of those hockey cards we saw earlier. Um, a charger for something. What else is in here? That's junk. This is a Camel Zippo. Uh, KLR, that, that's engraved on it. I don't know what that means. Um, that's not the person's initials. So I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe that's the something to do with the cigarette brand or something. But that's probably a good five bucks. Uh, what else do we have in here? It looks like the rest is just some trash and a couple more packs of these cards. Uh, underneath it, we've got Raid, a charm bracelet here with the motorcycle on it. Kind of tough to see on camera, but there is a motorcycle on it. And an extension cord. In with those papers was also this Pepsi magnet and a receipt from an antique mall for a couple things. A cowboy's jacket, a bag of cars, and a Pepsi magnet. He spent 40 bucks on the jacket, so I'm hoping that's in the unit. Next, we've got this Kiss doll, or action figure, still in the packaging. Packaging's a little yellow. I saw two others, I'm hoping the fourth one's in there too. We've got this bathroom clock, kinda neat. You hang a towel on it, you've got the, uh, the sink, the bathtub. No toilet though, maybe that was supposed to be in there? I don't know. We've got a brand new Danica Patrick clock. We can sell that alongside of the autographed picture we saw earlier. Let's see, we've got a model car, kind of taken apart, probably not worth anything. I'm not quite sure what this is. It looks like part of a cake pan, but it's one salad piece. It doesn't open up, it's welded. So I don't know, maybe someone can help me with that. 
We've got a Craftsman bag here with a DeWalt battery. What else is in here? Uh, the instructions, oh, for the saw. So maybe this bag goes with the saw. Um, we've got also instructions for random stuff. And uh, another, another DeWalt battery. So the two batteries, I don't know if they're any good, but I could probably get 10 bucks for the pair. And I don't know if this bag is for the saw. It seems a little small for it. Uh, we've got a military jacket here. There's no name on it on here, uh, but I'm sure it'll sell for a little bit. We've got a Dremel attachment kit for all the little attachments you might have. We've got, this feels empty, uh, an empty Craftsman box. Looks like for an electric screwdriver. It does have some bits in it though. We've got a vintage Sanyo 8-track deck. Uh, 8-track record deck, so this could have some value. So it's the model 8020A. Nothing came up with that, but the 8020 sold for 79 plus shipping. Here's 40 plus shipping, 49 plus shipping, and that's it. Uh, so, I mean, I would say at least 50 bucks for this. I'll do a little more research. It is 8020A, so it's not the same model I was looking up, but it's got to be pretty close. All right, we've got a box of cards. Uh, these are sports cards. Uh, get probably, he has a buck 25 on it. I'm sure I can get probably three or four for that. We've got a tackle box here, and it's heavy. So let's get it open. Tools. It looks like an electronics repair kit. Yes, yeah, definitely an electronics repair kit. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. So we can open it up more. Uh, let's see, we've got a knife in here. This is an interesting, like a tactical knife almost. Switchblade. Oh, that's neat. I am totally going to hurt myself here. Uh, but, switchblade. Woo! I recently found out those are illegal in Canada. I found that out by watching the show. Uh, oh, I don't remember what the show's called. Uh, Nothing to Declare or something like that. Here's another... Another knife. This one's just a regular pocket knife. Uh, probably not too expensive, but worth at least $5, I would say. What else do we have in here? Carbon film resistor. Uh, this just slides open. Oh, oh my, a whole bunch of resistors. This probably has some value. What else is in here? This software. Um, we've got another little box here with some more resistors, a speaker, uh, let's see, little screwdriver kit, scissors, a couple more of these little screwdriver kits, what is this stuff, soldering stand, uh, looks like the rest of it is just going to be uh, electronics repair things, wire caps. Uh, so this is a full electronics repair kit. There's a soldering iron in there. There's a whole bunch of resistors, a little electric motor. Uh, I'm assuming this is some sort of voltage meter, solder. So full electronics repair kit. We're going to take the knives out and sell those separately. I want to play with this one some more. I've never actually had a switchblade before. before. So uh, you want my money, huh? Not anymore. Okay, I'm done. I'm totally going to hurt myself. So that is, for some reason, in the electronics repair kit. So I would assume this whole kit has got to be worth at least 40 or 50 bucks. A lot of this stuff looks brand new. And then the knives will probably get me another 20 or so. All right, we've got this thing, which I can only assume is some sort of dish rack. I don't know what else this could possibly be. Uh, it's got the drip trays, as a dish rack would. There are no markings, not just his main china on the bottom. So I'm assuming that's a dish rack. This was not with it, but it looks like it goes with it, so I put it there. One more box over here. We've got a Kiss action figure. Here's another one with no box. Probably get about 10 bucks for the set there. Uh, that's garbage. We've got uh, Wilma Flintstone's weapon of choice. We've got some cords. Little remote control car if it's in here. 
Let's find out. And it is in fact in there. It looks like you control it with your phone. And then a couple of books. Oh, and this, what is this? Oh, another belt buckle, Iola Car Show, uh, 1988. We are finding a ton of belt buckles in this unit. All right, so I'm trying to get this healthy living thing going. I'm only gonna drink one Pepsi a day now, just one. Right here, this is my can of Pepsi. Got the lid right here. This is my one Pepsi per day. That way I can be living healthy. That's what you need to do. Just drink one Pepsi a day and you'll be healthy. So we've got a Pepsi cooler, nice and clean inside. I don't know what this is worth, but it looks like a can. It's even got the nutrition facts on it. Somebody will probably pay for this can of Pepsi. All right, we've got this backpack. You saw this at the beginning of the video, so let's see what is in it. We've got a pair of cheap sunglasses. ZZ Top talks about those a lot. In this pocket, we've got a Lamborghini, or that's Ferrari, I think. We've got a Ferrari. Yeah, it says Ferrari right on the back, if I learn how to read. It is battery powered, so I'm sure it does something. Uh, let's see, moving on to this pocket. It looks like we're full of toys. We've got a dagger. All right, it's not very sharp. Looks like there's some Hot Wheels cars. Uh, Matchbox cars, Kellogg cereal, and that's Hot Wheels, but nothing of real value. It looks like we're just filled with toys here. Handcuffs, little toy handcuffs. Yeah, that's that's about it. So, I'm gonna show you how to escape the police if you rob a bank. I am going to cuff myself. If I can even get this to fit, it might even be a little small. There we go. There's one. Eh. All right. And these are really bad cuffs. All right, now I am handcuffed. I just got arrested. Now we are going to rip them off. There we go. I'm free to, where's my knife? Here's a gun. Now I'm gonna go rob that bank again. All right, we've got a box of what looks to be all cards. Here are some hockey cards. They look to be all hockey cards. So probably get three, four bucks for this box. We got a Ram stick, more gold value. We've got a little box of cards here. These are more hockey cards. We've got another box here, more card. What in the world are these? These are interesting. They're like plastic cards, die cut for the team. All right. Moving on, we've got a piece of paper, uh, looks like junk, some straws, empty bag. We've got a keychain laser pointer, and it is in there, so that'll probably sell for three, four dollars. We've got a deck of bikini cards, some creeper will buy those. All right, more cards, commons it says. Oh, but we do have some certified cards in here. Um, I don't know if these are any good, but they are certified. So uh, we'll probably send these to auction. A lot of certified cards. They are PSA, or at least these ones are. Those aren't. Those are Beckett. So they are certified by a reputable brand. And then the rest are just regular cards. We've got another box of cards here. These are also hockey cards. We've got a book for a watch. It's like a sales book of some sort. All right, here's a box that the hockey cards were probably in. And uh, a box from the lady cards. Well, this is fancy. These are for displaying cards, acrylic cases. Uh, here's some football cards. Here are a bunch of empty top loaders. Uh, junk. A couple of rulers. Junk. Another box of cards. Hockey cards as well. We've got another box of cards. A 
appear to be hockey cards. Here's a certificate of authenticity for something for hockey draft pick set. So this looks like a complete set. This might be worth a few bucks on its own if it is in fact a complete set. All right, we've got a sticker, a notepad, those are garbage. We've got um, sharpening stone it looks like. Uh, another sharpening stone, just a block of wood. A couple of coins here. Um, to thine own self recover. This is an AA coin and a religious coin. And then just some markers. We've got another box here. And we've got an adult magazine right there. Everyday mathematics. All right, underneath that, there's some of these bikini cards. These are factory sealed. I looked them up on eBay. They're really not worth much. Uh, maybe if I have enough of them. Four is not going to, uh, hold on. Six is not gonna be enough to make it worth listing on eBay. I would need like 30 of these. Uh, but we can send them to a local auction. We've got these adult themed cards, uh, boxes of them. They are, they are not factory sealed. They're just loose cards inside the boxes. Uh, some more sports cards throughout. These American Bandstand cards. Let's see if I can open this box. We've got two tins of those. Another one of these boxes. This actually feels pretty empty. Um, this one's for, they saved the, the packages. One of these looks signed. Is this actually autographed? Authentic autograph. For the sake of uh, censoring this video so it's kid friendly. It is autographed, it says authentic autograph. Not that that's really gonna be worth anything, but here we've got uh, Desert Storm cards. Um, this feels pretty empty. Oh, no. Why does this feel so empty? Uh, because it's the, they don't take up the whole box, but this might be a complete set here of, uh, oh, these are hockey cards. Rookie season, arena French hockey draft pick. Uh, then we've got some non-sports cards here. So this is just a box of assorted cards. You get some sports cards, some more bikini cards, uh, some wrestling, what are these, postcards or something, WCW. So a whole bunch of stuff. I could probably get about 15 bucks in a local auction for this box. Green Bay Bombers, what in the world is that? Uh, I have never even heard of that. It looks like arena football, so it's probably the predecessor to the Green Bay Blizzard arena football team that we have today. Uh, so those might be worth some money uh, by themselves. Not a ton, but at least to a local market. We've got another box. That's, that's empty. That's empty. This one is not empty. Uh, this one is hockey cards. And that's probably what will encompass this entire box. We've got some craft paper. It's mostly empty. We're just going to toss that. And a calendar. Uh, here's some hockey cards. Interesting how they stored these. I'm guessing they're sorting them in some fashion here. Uh, maybe by player or something. We've got a rose. Uh, let's see. One of these fire hazards. We'll put that in the dollar sale. Uh, this is more hockey cards. Get these out of the way. That's empty, that's empty. More hockey cards. He just fell out of it. So these are not sealed packs. These are uh, boxes, they're open. Here we've got a book, it's not really worth anything. Uh, this is a full, not, oh, this is interesting. I thought this was cards. We've got a Pepsi truck. Uh, I don't see a date on it. It doesn't feel that old, like the bottom's plastic. So this is a bank, actually. It's a bank. This is probably a reproduction from the 90s, I would imagine. Um, so we'll set that aside with all the Pepsi stuff. Get another box of hockey cards here. Try not to knock things over. Uh, some, there's an Oneida Nation thing. Some magazines and books. This looks like some sort of uh, notepad. Uh, and then we just have, looks like paperwork. So I'm gonna go through this, we'll see if there's anything special, and I'll let you know if I find anything. 
Next, we've got these boxes of cards. Some are sports cards, some are lady cards. Uh, so that's what, one, two, three, four, five boxes. I anticipate I'll probably get about 30 bucks for all of them. This basket appears to be nothing special. We've got a portable DVD player, off-brand, there's a movie in it. The Dark Knight, off-brand, no charger, so not really worth much. A Gandhi book. Uh, let's see, what is in this little box? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Replacement parts for something, spark plug, and uh, so probably something car related. Uh, we got some license plates. These are Oneida Nation plates. Uh, Navy veteran Oneida Nation plates in Wisconsin plate. So uh, maybe those will go for a couple bucks to someone who likes to hang license plates in their garage. And the rest of this looks like stuff that is going to cost me some money to dispose of. Uh, paints and whatnot. This, well this is heavy. Let me take a look at it. Nope, it is open. You never know if someone just used it and then filled it back with water or something, so I'm not gonna sell that, uh, just because you don't know what's in it. Uh, but if it was sealed, I would send it to a local auction. We've got a box for Milwaukee tools. It is cracked and you can feel it's empty just by opening it. I don't think these have any value, especially considering it's cracked, uh, but maybe we'll find a drill for it somewhere in the unit. That would be nice. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to this until I find go through the unit. If I find the drill, I'll put it with it. If not, we're probably just going to toss it. We've got two boxes here of what look like pads for pets. Uh, the absorbent pads that your cat or dog gets to pee on. Uh, we've got two boxes of those. They may also go in cribs for children, uh, which are basically just pets that require a little bit more maintenance. Uh, so we will sell these in the auction. Now we've got this little shelving unit. It's plastic, baseball themed to go on a kid's wall. I don't know, probably worth five or 10 bucks. This box is topped off with a bunch of linens, which we will toss aside here. And in it, we've got some rope. We've got some fitness and car magazines. What is this? Looks like a shower kit. A uh, set of gloves. We got sandpaper, incense. What is this? Uh, little, little decorative knickknacks, picture frames, and whatnot. A gross sock. Base for a phone. Uh, oh, hold on. This may be the charger for this portable DVD player. It's the same brand. Let's plug it in. It is, we found the charger for it, so that just upped the value of this to probably about five bucks. All right, we've got Puzzle Guard. And then this is not, I don't think this is the right handset. So we'll just set those aside here. All right, we've got some cheap speakers. These are Zenith speakers for a surround sound. We've got a remote which is probably, it's blue also, probably the remote for that portable DVD player. Uh, what else is in here? Toothpicks in a little jar. Brakes for a bicycle. Uh, sharpening stone, I'm assuming. Some more little knickknacks for a kid's room. We got more brakes and a brake handle for a bicycle. And the rest of this looks like junk. Here we've got a tackle box with just random tackle in it. Uh, looks like some worms and bobbins and whatnot. On this side we've got a more random assortment. I think that's empty. I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 no. Yeah, it's empty. Uh, so just random fishing stuff. We'll sell this all as one lot in the auction. Probably get, I don't know, five to ten dollars. We've got a bunch of drawers with different size screws in it. Missing two. That'll go for a couple bucks. A gross shower mat. This looks like it's all bathroom stuff in here. Um, mostly going to be trash. 
Yep, this is all bathroom stuff. So this is going to be a box that gets thrown right in the trash uh, because no one wants used bathroom stuff. Here we've got a bunch of eight tracks, Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton. It's a bunch of country, there's Elvis. Elvis Christmas album, here's another Elvis. So a bunch of eight tracks and this metal box is 45s. Uh, look to be in pretty rough shape and nothing too special. Yeah, these are in really rough shape. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get much for those, but I'll probably get a few bucks for the vintage metal box. This box is all CDs. It's full of CDs. Are they in there? Yes, the discs are in here. It's not uncommon to find these and there are no discs because they took them all out and put them in sleeves. Um, what we're probably going to do is just sell all these on declutter. Uh, see what they get me. I, I'm sure I could probably get 20 or 30 bucks for this box just on declutter. Good way to get rid of CDs. Um, although there is some decent stuff. I and mean, we got Rihanna, stuff that people, Purple Rain, people would be interested in. Poison. Quite Bob Marley. This is quite the array of CDs here. Uh, quite a variety. Uh, but, you know, we should be able to get a decent amount for them. Uh, maybe there's going to be something special in there that I will look up, but I'm not going to hold my breath. We've got a couple of small folding camp chairs. We've got a wooden box here. This was actually filled with tobacco. I dumped it out uh, because I didn't want it to spill in the trailer. The Dictionary of American Slang. This is Urban Dictionary for old people. Uh, let's see, we've got a little toolbox here. A uh, bike repair kit with a tube and for some reason, oh no, that's not coaxial, that's a brake cable. So a little bike repair kit, you probably get a couple bucks for that. And then this wicker waste basket has some stuff. We've got a box of cards here, uh, a random cowboy's glove. Uh, this is one of those salt, salt lamps. Um, people like those. We've got an empty propane tank, we'll put that with the candles. Uh, and then a stapler. Uh, vintage, but probably not worth anything. All right, this box, garbage. Some yarn, maybe someone will buy that. Uh, let's see, random cookbook. We've got another native, oh, this is cool. It's missing one of the feathers here, but overall, it's pretty neat. But someone will pay a few bucks for that. We've got, I'm not quite sure what that is, some sort of die. Some old cookbooks here. You know, these may be worth it in the auction, just a stack of vintage cookbooks. Uh, what is this, just a little notepad. Uh, I think this is a drawer slide, so we're gonna say garbage. We've got best, not, not quite sure what that means, garbage. So here, Garfield. Just a whole bunch of random little papers and stuff. Nothing special. More of that. What is this? Uh, some sort of earbuds or headphones. Probably gonna be junk. Looks like a lot of trash in this box. Silverware or plastic silverware. We got a little drawer for something. We'll set that aside for now. I'm not. Oh, a harmonica. That might be worth something. With like a handmade duct tape box. Uh, this is a little sewing kit. Not quite sure what that is. That I think is for a doorknob to child proof it. Floppy disk, random remote, some door and window sealant, another random remote. What is this? I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, I think this suction cups to a window to uh, kind of block out the sun. Cords, a pair of pliers that have seen better days. What is this? A hockey, an autographed hockey puck. So this may have some value. I have no idea if anyone knows who number 37 is for the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, so we're gonna set this aside. That could have some value. We got a Toshiba remote for a TV, it looks like. Whoops, and there goes the remote. We got, oh, here's where the drawer goes to. Uh, looks like a dollhouse-sized end table. 
made for jewelry or something as well. Uh, more bike parts and the whole brake cable assembly here. Uh, is there anything else special in here? Uh, we've got brake cable kit, some sort of belt bracelet thing. I'm not quite sure. Uh, some vintage drawer hardware. That could have some value, but it's pretty common. I don't think it will. An uh, elf or something. Uh, looks like the rest. More vintage drawer hardware. That one's broken. So, a bunch of junk otherwise. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought this was a Game Boy SP or a Game Boy Advance game. It's not. Alright, the rest of this is junk. So I looked it up, it is, his name is Tim Taylor, plays for the Red Wings, or played for the Red Wings. Um, same thing, hockey puck autographed by him, $7.95 plus five bucks shipping, so not really worth much, but I'm sure it'll fetch uh, five to $10 in a local auction. So I'll, I'll take it. So this box is kind of heavy, let's see what's in it. Looks like home improvement type stuff, light switch covers, uh, Little fence edging. Oh boy, this box is a mess. It looks like it's probably all electrical stuff. Um, I've seen outlets, little keychain games. Oh, here's a brand new hitch pin. Cable outlet, light switches. This person must have been an electrician. I think these are for a jack, hydraulic jack whole bunch of light switch covers so I am going to go through this box and I'll let you know if I happen to find anything special uh, this is for a sink so a plumbing electrical but it does not look like there's anything special in here so this was buried in the bottom of the box this will probably be worth Stainless steel made in China, so it's not worth a ton, but it'll probably sell for five to ten dollars in a local auction. Let's see if I can get in here without hurting myself. So maybe there'll be more knives in here. All right, we've got a backpack here with some nylon rope and a whole bunch of these oversized ratchet straps. There's one, two, three big ones. And three smaller ones, so six total. So I'd imagine the contents of this backpack will give me about $20. We've got a large remote control car. Maybe we found the controller with them earlier. A tanker truck model that, um, you know, all I see is the tank itself and it's already put together. Uh, however, it does still have the stickers and some paint. It looks like it's just the tanker though. The picture doesn't show the truck at all. Uh, so that is likely complete. Uh, we've got a flat full of cars and another um, auction company thing. He paid, well, the, the tanker sold for $2.75. That's what he paid for it. But this is a small no-name auction company, so stuff sells cheap with them. Uh, and then we've got a whole bunch of little cars here. There's nothing special in here. There's a couple of older ones, but nothing really all that special. Uh, I'll probably go for about five bucks in the auction. Look, Hardy's! That's awesome. All right, this looks like a box of tools. We've got a Milwaukee drill bit set, which looks new. Uh, this is a pretty nice set. I don't know if this is supposed to go in it or not. Uh, it looks like a pretty nice set. Uh, probably worth about five to ten dollars. Here we've got a Craftsman socket set, just a little one, probably also worth about five to ten dollars. A bunch of hardware for a piece of furniture. Let's see, we've got some takeout napkins, a pair of gloves. What else is in here? This is just assorted tools. There's a trailer light, uh, random little tools. It's kind of a unique drawer pull but there's only one of them, all in, what in the world is this thing? This almost looks like a pool for like a dollhouse or something. That's probably what this is. 
Now under here, holy hand tools. All right, this is just a beat up drawer pull, or drawer slide rather, uh, as is this. That's probably junk too. Uh, but beyond that, we've got some decent stuff here. We've got, I don't know how to open this uh, without cutting myself. Uh, but it looks like a full pack of razor blades. The top few look rusted, but the rest look like they're probably fine. A pry bar, some hex keys, pliers, just a whole bunch of random hand tools in here. We've got a sanding disc, sanding block. This is, um, I think this is for leather making. A whole bunch of some sort. Crowbar, another level, a little tiny pizza cutter. Uh, what else is in here? I'm assuming this is for drywall. I'm not a tool guy, so I don't know what this stuff exactly is, but I know it's all tools. Uh, what is this? Grout finisher tool, uh, brand new. This is a whole bunch of hand tools, so uh, I'm sure it'll do decently at auction. We've got a chisel. All right, this box. We found the other Dallas Cowboys gloves, so now we've got a set. We can sell those along with this. Oh, there's something in here. Dallas Cowboys popcorn tin. Uh, we're going to go through this one. I have a little bit more table space. You can see it better, but it doesn't look like much. We've got a NASCAR model here. Probably worth about three, four dollars. We've got, I'm guessing this goes to like, you put it set up as with your train set. Uh, water bottle, put that in the dollar sale pile. We have some more train cars here. These are Clenbane. Clenbane is the brand of these. Uh, so we've got two cars there. We've got, this might all go, no, this is like a, an erector set or maybe an off-brand erector set here. Uh, I'm sure that's worth a few bucks. Uh, here we've got Williams Country Store. So this probably goes with the train stuff, a building. Here's another building. Goes with the train stuff. We've got a cigar box here. And in it is pens. A lot of pens. What is this? A fancy pen. Uh, not worth anything, but... Cigar box full of pens. So, you know, maybe someone will buy this in the auction. Maybe they'll buy it for the cigar box, maybe for the pens. Uh, these little Easter things I'm going to throw out. Uh, a whole bunch of trains here, train cars. These feel like plastic, so I don't think they've got a lot of value. But, hey, you never know. I'll have to look them up. This is kind of cool. Uh, Menasha is a town nearby. So, this must be a company that was in Menasha. And it was actually bought for $2 at a local thrift store. What a little die-cast truck. Um, the fact that it's local, people will like it. Here we've got some sort of bridge, but this feels more like a toy. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's any branding in it, and I don't see any names, but this feels more like a toy than anything. Uh, so we'll set that aside, see if we can figure it out. Here we've got a train set. Uh, this was with the uh, HO scale train set. Uh, so that's probably worth a couple bucks. We've got some track here, uh, so we'll set that aside. I'm running out of table space here. Uh, another train car. This all, I would imagine, goes together. A uh, model car. There's one of the wheels uh, with the box partially missing. We've got a controller for the train. A little train car. This is... MGH Speed, I think it says. I don't know, but it's a little tiny one. Uh, we've got more of these. I wonder if this all goes together. Uh, these were like from a Thomas the Train set, a, a toy. Let's see, we've got a caboose. Part of it's broken off. Uh, oh, and it's taped there, so that could be glued back on. Uh, the brand on this is Bachman. Uh, same as those new ones. Uh, we've got an engine here which is also Bachman. Uh, this feels pretty high quality. And we've got another engine here, also Bachman. And then we've got this set here. Uh, this, this actually might go with it. They're about the same size. 
yard bro yard boss let's see if it looks like he's missing one it does appear to that doesn't that's not how that works there's plastic or a sheet taped here well you know what i am just going to kind of shove this guy in here maybe i can do that a little bit better than that they taped the sheet of plastic down so uh, we got a nice set here. I don't know what this train stuff is worth. That's something else. That's just the bottom of the box. I don't know what this train stuff is worth, uh, but I don't need to know. That's the beauty of auctions. I'm just going to drop it off at the auction, and uh, the buyer will decide what it's worth when they bid on it. So we're just going to box all this stuff up. This is probably a good find. This could easily be a $100 box, but it could also be a $10 box. I don't know. Now we've got this Dallas Cowboys tin. I almost forgot about that. So let's open that up. Well, we've got some Craftsman staples, if I can hold on to them. We've got an insurance card here and a appointment card for a doctor. This is, it's tape that's like melted into a candle. Uh, Mackinac, Michigan mug. This looks like it's all gonna be junk. Uh, we got a library card. I don't even know where that's from. I would have gave me a pack of library cards. So that's from uh, like Appleton area. Uh, old drawer pull, razor blade. Oh, we got a stud finder. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, wait. Hey, I'm a stud. It works. All right, let's see. And the rest of this looks like junk. All right, one final box for this video. We got some sheets of sports cards and some empty sheets. Uh, a couple of magazines, Rolling Stone and whatnot. A printout of an email. Uh, this is just an empty box with a roll of tape in it. This box looks like we did not save the best for last. Some mounting hardware for a curtain rod. Uh, glass cutting board. You can probably get a buck in the Dallas sales for that. Uh, we've got an old space book. An old picture. Let's take a look at the book first. Uh, this is kind of neat. It gets some water damage though. So I don't know if it's really going to have any value, but I'll look it up later. This looks like a very old photo. Uh, Indian burial ground Lance Lang, something like that. Um, and it looks like Port Arthur, Ontario. Does not have dates, but these pictures look very old. So we'll set those aside. More curtain rod hardware. We've got uh, little circulars. It looks like the rest of this is just gonna be books. Let's see, we've got mail, junk mail, more mail. This is all, it looks like all junk mail. Toss that. Is there anything in here? Nope, that's empty. More junk mail. We've got a few books in here. Uh, let's see, the complete book of swords. We've got addiction. We've got, I mean, this person was addicted to swords. Uh, let's see, illustrated encyclopedia, dictionary of electronics. Uh, so that is probably very outdated. We've got, oh, this could be worth something. 1957 to 86 repair manual for Jeeps. Uh, these repair manuals are usually decent on eBay, so we're going to set that aside. John. The, the trivia encyclopedia, Fred Worth. How to test almost everything electronic. That's kind of cool. If only it was made in this century. Uh, 12 steps and 12 traditions. Living sober. Between that and the AA coin, I'm assuming this, uh, this person... Uh, Got recovered from an addiction. Uh, let's see, some old magazines. There's some adult magazines in there. Skip through those. All right, that looks like that's going to be the it. The it. That is going to be the it. And then lastly, I'll set those there for now. We've got this Zenith subwoofer, which undoubtedly goes with these three speakers that I found. Still waiting on a receiver. So this video is getting really long and I've only gone through maybe 25% of this unit so far. I've got a full trailer outside that I unloaded today 
and uh, a big mess around me. So I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna make this storage unit a multi-part video. I hope you enjoyed it. If I didn't mention already, I spent $440 on this storage unit. I will probably, I can see easily 2,000 with what we just saw in this video. This is easily the best storage unit I've ever found. That heater could not have waited an extra 10 seconds for me to end, end this video. I've been talking a lot. This is a lot of talking. So that's it for this video. Definitely leave a like below. Comment what your favorite item was in here and uh, subscribe if you don't mind. And I'm gonna clean this mess up and start filming that stuff, which will be released tomorrow. See you later.